Hello everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome to The Cat Lady. Now, a few years ago, this game interests me enough to put it on my Steam wish list, and I purchased it, but I haven't played it. And this game is pretty dark. It deals with very sensitive subjects. So early warning now, um, if you guys are really sensitive to, sensitive to topics such as suicide, self-harm, uh, depression, this is your warning. And that this is your only warning. <laughs> uh, this is not a happy-go-lucky game. Uh, it, it, like I said, as I said, it touches on really difficult subjects. Uh, but let's get into it. So we're gonna do new game. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Okay, there's a cat. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true, but I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly, but they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me. As if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Chapter 1. So yeah, this game goes by chapters. House in the Woods. Okay, so we have the arrow keys. Very somber music. Okay. <laughs> Making sure we didn't we're about to go off a ledge. There's a house. Door. So that's an in open interaction menu. Cycle through available options. For door. Enter. 
examine. I feel strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. Okay. Enter. It's locked. Okay. So yeah, this is mystery game. Not really point and click, but definitely gotta find objects. That looks like a really bad car crash. No pedestrian access. Oh. Okay. Ambulance. Salmon. Paramedic ambulance. Can't go any further. Okay, it's blocking. So ambulance is blocking access to the tunnel exit. Maybe there is no exit at all. Open door. That locked too. Okay, so... What's making that noise? Hello? Who's there? Usually you don't want to say hello Answer me. in this situation. I guess I have no choice to check. Yeah. Hello, dead body. Look closer. It's me! My cold dead body right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? Susan. Examine. I look so calm. You also look very dead. Turn head. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Open eyes. My eyes just about one thing I liked about myself. Even now they still shine a little. Open mouth. There's a there's a key. Oh, better take it with me. I didn't see the text. Okay. Open inventory key. Okay, that's the key we need. Bye, Susan. Or dead Susan. Bye, dead Susan. Okay, it looks like the ceiling's about to fall, so you might want to keep moving. Oh, yeah, keep moving. I didn't make it. Oh, I did. It just fell down. Okay. Yep, no way back now. Keep going. Okay. Back out into the sun, there is a deer! Yes, please move, thank you. Was that supposed to have a deep meaning? There's a tree! Bye, deer! Okay. Okay, so use the key. There we go. Planks. The hole has been boarded up with these planks. There's a heartbeat that's just ramping up. The sign underneath says, emergency power switch, danger. 
cool look through. There's definitely something there. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. Machine. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery after all. Pull the plank. I'm not strong enough to pull them off my bare hands. Okay. Switch on. How strange. There doesn't seem to be a single switch or button on this machine. How do you turn it on? I'm not strong enough to pull that. Okay. So. It's dark inside. Oh, not really. Can't go further than that. Let's see. Or do I need to keep going this way where the deer went? Maybe that's where I need to go. Back towards this tree. There's a deer! Going deep into a forest. Oh, that's a car. The hood's on fire, and that's someone that hung themselves, okay? Hanging body. My dead body hanging from a tree. Oh, okay. I should be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait, what's that shiny thing on her neck? Is that a key? So many keys! Search the body. Body is too high. I can't reach. Maybe I can... Rope. Rope is tied in a knot. Untie. It would take me hours to undo this knot. Let me open the door. See the bolt from the other side, of course. Okay. We are once again at a dead end. This way? I mean, this way? Okay. Well, I am out of time for right now. I don't know if this game auto saves or a way to save it. But, this is all I have time for now. Just Susan, and then Susan is hanging from a tree. So, hopefully we'll get some answers to this puzzle in the future. Um, I'm liking what I see so far. It's just, again, with puzzle games like this, you have to keep searching around. And with this game, of course, as you can see, it's pretty vague on what we need to do next, other than just keep roaming around. I know it's supposed to be more of a, um, a visual, um, visual novel style kind of game, trying to teach a story, trying to teach a lesson. Uh, so, we'll see where this goes. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!